journey since the seventh grade to open our minds up with new ideas. Try and play music with people uh, that wanted to touch people's lives. And I'm continuing on that journey. And I want to say here, and I've been saying it in every city, despite what people think they know about me, they don't know me. I'm a pretty much uh, misunderstood dude. I fucking love Blink-182. I started that band. difficult things. I want to try uh, doing things that really move people. Angels and Airwaves was started as an art project. How do we capture something that we're all going through and how do we twist it and turn it and communicate it back to you guys so you feel like you're not so alone, you know? Right? We all feel alone. Even when you find that person in your life that you're so connected to, you still feel like an individual, you know? Like one lonely soul living on this planet. We all feel that same shit. You know, it's hard though, because you watch movies and you see other people, or you know people that look like they're so happy. And you're like, fuck man, I really wish I could feel the way they do. But the reality is, is every single person feels the same. We all go through the same stuff, we really do. That's why it's so important that we come here together and experience art together, you know? Well, when I was doing Angels and Airwaves, I was thinking maybe like these themes would be more like impactful if there were if there was film or something that went along with it. And so I created this little company called To the Stars to create. <laughs> there was one story. There was five stories I was trying to create, but one of those stories I dealt with this idea like, are we alone in the universe? You know. Really, truly alone? Really? Fucking in the whole universe? Really? I always thought we were proof that life existed in the universe. Why? I mean, no one says that. You know? We went to a far off place and found life in a pool of methane gas. We would be like, okay, life exists there because we found it there. But in the universe, no one really looks at ourselves and says, we are proof that life happens in the universe, right? <laughs> So what I did is I spent quite some time and I, I, uh, I took a little detour from music for a couple years and I went knocking on a few doors within the U.S. government. I actually got in a lot of trouble for a quick minute. I just want to put it out there. But I smoothed shit over. And this week, a few articles launched where we really did put the pressure on our government to admit some stuff. that alone. I did not. There are people at my company which To The Stars became To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science. It's full of a bunch of people that came out of the shadows that were really worried about a bunch of stuff I can't get into here. But they did it. We did it. We did it. It's the beginning. This is the beginning of us realizing how special we are. And uh, hopefully we can all come together across the world rather than the shit where we're always warring with each other. What the fuck is that all about? It's so weird, we gotta stop that, right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in time right now and play some old songs to remember how the fuck I got those meetings in the government in the first place.
of us could be a musical prodigy like Mr. Alon fucking Ruben. There's more chord progressions than the one chord progression that you know. I said, fuck you. I know two chord progressions. And I have a song with the second one that goes. Yeah. <laughs> 